Roll market. Get it? That's my allusion to the Crimson Tide. Roll Tide, congrats to all you Bama fans out there on your BCS championship. Well, we've got earnings rolling on as well. Alcoa starting off the quote-unquote season with a pretty good report, if you want to call it that. They did lose money, but it was in line with forecasts. Sales were a little bit better than expected. People seem to be excited about that. But I'm a little bit more interested in what some consumer companies, not stodgy aluminum manufacturers that were really relevant more in the 19th century than now, uh, are uh, doing and what we have with some retailers. So it's a mixed bag of results. Tiffany lowered guidance for its current fiscal year citing restrained spending during the holidays. So a blue Christmas for the seller of little blue boxes. It makes you wonder if the nation's most affluent, the 1%, if you will, were starting to feel a little bit of the pinch from this sluggish economy, or is it just other factors? Another company that is not exactly as high end as Tiffany, Liz Claiborne, which has many, many problems, also lowering guidance. Liz Claiborne is actually selling the namesake Liz Claiborne brand to JCPenney. It's going to be focusing on its other brands like Juicy Couture and changing its name to Fifth and Pacific, which sounds somewhat like a football reference, Fifth and Ten, although Fifth Down doesn't exist unless you're a really bad ref. That happened, I think, at a college football game of note a couple of years ago. Anyhow, finally, Lululemon, the yoga apparel maker. Namaste. It raised guidance and the stock is surging as a result. So I think this all just goes to show that retail is a very fickle industry. You have lots of winners, lots of losers. Lululemon, definitely a winner right now. Tiffany, not so much. One other thing of note, not on the retail side, but I think it's worth pointing out in a market as volatile as this one, WebMD is plunging in early trading as the company took itself off the shopping block. There was a lot of speculation, rumors, hype about WebMD being a takeover target, possibly for Yahoo, other internet companies out there. Stock is plunging because it's no longer for sale. The cautionary tale, the lesson here, you always need to be wary of M&A hype. A lot of companies get bid up on rumors. You gotta wait for the actual news, because guess what? When a company says it's for sale, or is said to be for sale, and then it isn't anymore, look out below.